try and make this accessible. Well, hello, hello, and welcome to another video. Today we're going to look at a software that competes very, very well with Lightroom and possibly could be a Lightroom killer. And I've seen a lot of videos about it. Uh, a lot of people are praising this software, but I haven't tried it yet. So I'm going to do this in two minutes Wednesday. Two, 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 two minutes Wednesday. Two. Right, so the software that we're going to talk today is Photometer. I think I already said that, but uh, there you go. Um, it's been a long day. <laughs> so this is supposed to be a Lightroom killer. Let's see what other options we have. First time when you open Photometer, you're going to see a synchronize with your uh, Apple, um, with your photos, right? With your cloud and so on. So this software is just for Apple users, Mac users. Um, so in terms of options, we have photos where you have uh, all the info here, albums, so you can do collections, you can do folders, uh, which is nice. You can put years and then months and so on. Media types, selfies, portraits. So this is going to be nice when all this is going to um, actual synchronize and you'll have everything here, row screenshots. Um, and utilities, you can flag, reject, uh, put a five star rating on your images. And also you can have some private hidden images, especially if it's a shared computer, you can have this, I don't know. Um, but yeah, let's see uh, what options we have. So let's take an image here, for example. You can take this one, open image. It's nice that it has like, you know, space and you open it. Um, right click, white. Okay, so you, you changed the background. Right, so I forgot to start the timer. Let's start it now. So we have light gray, medium gray, dark gray, black. Ooh, black, nice. Um, let's have it default to this grayish thing. Let's go to crop and do like this. Two by three, four by five. Now in crop mode, I don't know how to change from four by five to, uh, to five by four, something like that. Maybe it's a, uh, it's a, I don't know. Maybe it's something straightforward, but I cannot see it. You can change the overlay here, but okay, let's go 16 by nine. And I don't wanna keep it too long. Have it like this, which is really nice. And I can use it as a wallpaper. Boom, so I have all this, let's remove this hairs here and see. So we have repair tool. Is this the tool that I need? Let's see. Have this. It worked okay. We have this. Also worked okay. Nice. We have this bit here. I'm impressed. I can leave this and that because it's, we have this. Now let's zoom in. So to zoom, you need to hold option and just use your scroll. It's a bit fiddly to be honest. I, but I'm not going to complain. All right. This is really, really nice. I like it so far so good, but we are wasting time. So let's have another look at adjustments. First of all, we have automatically enhanced the photo. So let's try it. Mm, okay, it's a bit cold, but we can manage. So these are the color adjustments. We can adjust the temperature of the image. We can have the Exposure on the low side. We can have the highlights, the shadows, texture. 
make it more dreamy make it more clarity oh this is nice so it works exactly like for like uh, lightroom we have selective clarity oh so this is nice we can do shadows so bring the shadows into clarity let's see mm. can make it more dreamy all right this is cute we have mid tones and again we can play with the mid tones here it's actually really nice clarity as well see how this influences we have hue and saturation we have selective color and let's see if we have the reds can we make that ladybug a bit more reddish cute color balance highlights okay i really like oh nice highlights a bit more on the worm side really cool can we do the greens to look more washed now more greener <laughs> have more okay lovely looking good i think i've already passed the two minutes but this software is way too good to stop now so we have the curves which again works really good we have the information here we can see before and after on this one all right so this is before and this is after and we have so many other options here replace color fade okay so let's say i want to make the reds to be replaced with greens <laughs> oh this is so cute oh i love it right okay ah, even better now it's more redder i like it uh, okay nice nice i really like this option so let's close this let's close this what else fade blacks white okay so makes this uh yeah i don't like that <laughs> black and white as an option here really nice as well color monochrome okay so this is the sepia effect or whatever color you want to add okay nice really nice channel mixer okay loots and you have a lot of things that you can add cinematic grayscale okay nice to see vignette so you add a vignette actually it looks good and makes you know the the ladybug nicer sharper radius yeah you don't want to make it too sharp and grain add a bit of grain i love it i love it yes it has potential um, so I didn't buy this uh, this software yet as you can see I'm using um, I'm using only the um, uh, free version which gives me like three edits seven days free then 29.99 per year or you can buy it and I think it's a hundred and something per um, per license so this is really nice let's see the export so if i want to export as jpeg png export export what okay i cannot do that 
but I can save it as a JPEG or PNG. Okay, let's save it as a JPEG. On desktop, export. Boom. That's it. It's really nice. Really, really nice. I hope you enjoyed this uh, short overview of Photomator. Definitely, I'm gonna explore more. I see here that they have like uh, some presets where you have some nice classic films. Uh, look, you have modern film and what else? Landscape, vintage. Oh, it has so many things here. Really nice. Urban, night. Of course, I like to use mine, but really nice and also works very well on iPad as well. I played a bit on iPad actually um, doing the same image and the results were really amazing and the nice thing is if you have a pen for your iPad it works really really good. You don't need to invest more money in a in a bamboo Wacom tablet like this um, so spares you a bit of cash. So really good. I like it. Um, I will give it, I think, 9 out of 10 points, mostly because the scroll, I think it's it's a bit laggy, so yeah, the rest, amazing. It's something that really is really missing, and I know that Apple will invest a bit of time and more money into it, so hopefully we will have a better software with better um, uh, things and also new stuff. Uh, I think Adobe start like stopped innovating. Now they put like AI and stuff, but come on, it's not. Uh, I don't want to go there. I hope you enjoyed this uh, video, and uh, if you did, hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. Hit the like button. I think I said that before. Uh, okay, it's fine. As I said, long, long, long day. Um, have a lovely day, and see you next week.